What is up guys? Welcome back to channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Well, not different. I'm just going to be replanting these poor hydrangeas. Yeah, they totally wouldn't grow over here. We don't know what happened. We fertilized them. We checked the soil pH, everything. Watered and them like almost every day and they just dried out. I think one of the biggest things is that it probably didn't get enough sun and these things were expensive and I actually wanted to replant them maybe somewhere behind the shed where the sun comes like a little bit faster and stays a little bit longer. So like I think I'm gonna prune them and this is not the ideal season to replant because you want to kind of have them go a little dormant but they're just so sad already. <laughs> yeah, and the, the other thing is maybe these acorns we thought, so we thought maybe these acorns are toxic. We're under a big oak tree above us. Mm -hmm. We were thinking maybe the something's coming off of the acorns or the trees and killing the plant. So we're gonna replant it today, yeah. see what happens over the next few weeks. Hopefully we can save them and they'll come back next year. done i replanted the hydrangeas i trimmed them down i mean it was crazy when i dug them out those suckers were like hydrated but they did not root i don't know what was going on back there i'm super sad i really really hope that they're gonna come out like next year blooming um i did i mean this is not the season to trim it's usually like the beginning of spring but oh, I don't know we'll see fingers crossed they were not cheap so we actually want to take you guys it's this thing called in our area it's called trucks on the track and what what is it bargain it's pretty much just a bunch of food trucks around a train station there's supposed to be tons of different kind of food and people and we want to check it out because today is absolutely amazing like it feels you just like want to be fall. outside all day good. yeah it, it feels kind of it was kind of chilly, but then like during the middle of the day, it got a little hot. We want to take you guys to Trucks on the Track, so let's go. Oh my gosh, I have to try this. What do you have to try? <laughs> I have to try Jamaican food. I've never had Jamaican food. Me neither. Um, I saw oxtail. What the heck is that? Oxtail? I think it's like the tail of the cow. Oxtail. I think we're going to grab some oxtail we're to go. Out, and we're going to just try it all it. later. Yeah. Like in a quieter spot. I got some pats 
Thai. You can try every Thai place that has pad Thai. What's this chicken stuff? I have no idea. I just got it for Oliver. <laughs> so hopefully you'll like it. I think this is some sort of like peanut sauce. It looks, looks like it's going to be good. I got to grab a fork for that real quick. And it is hot. I don't know how long we're going to stay out here. visiting my grandma's house. She has the absolute ultimate garden that you have to live up to, but I have to show you guys something. We're literally in the middle of a city. It's like an all right city, nothing too crazy, but she has an entire vineyard. Look at this, oh my goodness. Whole thing of grapes. We, she told us to come here and pick some, all these tomatoes out here. I think she just cleared this area out to put her beets down. Massive. This is what you gotta try to live up to. Look at my hand compared to this beet. Huge. It's the It's the Закручивала, кен, кенувала, ну, знаєш, О, але то що, то, то, то не, не, не робота, ми як був так, і діда був, О, то ми мали такий прес, знаєш, собі зробили, О, але потім Вася каже, викидайте, бо то, бо то не добрий той прес, і я викинула, вторік не було, знаєш, а сі року так зародив, та й мені шкода, бо я так вже і сусідам всім дала, і, цього, і, і своїм дала, і, скільки того, і вони більше не хочуть. Решту ще, ще дещо кого гущу. Якщо там буде ще що, то я ще теж закручу. А так, щоб сік той робити, то треба мати прес. Today we're going to be revamping our shed. I mean, this shed is... <laughs> yeah, there's a couple funky spots where it's a little bit rotted out over here. So we're going to try to eventually tear it out and maybe put up some new paint, yeah. some new plywood that's yeah. uh, rated for the outdoors. But before that, we actually have to, it's a little embarrassing, but we actually have to organize this thing. This. But we got it. So we got to figure out what we're doing with this because it's an absolute mess. And we're pretty much going to get hopefully some shelving in, yeah. hopefully a few other things. And use like the vertical space. Before we get started on our shed, shout out to Cometeer for sponsoring another one of our videos. Dude, we love Cometeer. If you don't know about Cometeer, I mean, you gotta check them out. This coffee is something completely different. The pods from this company called Cometeer, who is trying to revolutionize the specialty coffee space by creating kind of a combination between instant coffee and pod coffee. Both things that are very, very convenient and accessible ways people can get into coffee. And if there's any anything about this coffee, it's the fact that we believe that coffee should be fun and easy for everyone. You don't need the whole get up, it's nice to have like something that's ready to go. To make your coffee, loosen the frozen puck by running the closed capsule under the hot water. We are making hot coffee, so we drop the frozen puck in the mug then added six to eight ounces of hot milk to melt and stir. We're using milk because we want more of a latte feel. You could also just use water. I chose yard and decaf. Um, it's definitely, you can definitely taste the chocolate and a little bit of the cherry in here. So smooth, I was definitely not expecting that. Definitely getting another one of these. Cometeer is flash frozen to lock in freshness a complete new format of coffee. Most importantly, it's delicious. You're wondering how Cometeer works. It ships monthly, delivers straight to your door, customized boxes to your roast preference, light, medium, dark, decaf, and many more. For a limited time, you can get 25% off your first two orders when you use my code at cometeer.com. 
If you've been waiting a while to try Cometeer, now is the time. All right guys, we cleaned out our entire shed. We're just trying to figure out how we're gonna do the layout. It's a little tough in here because it's so small. And this pallet right here is about the size of our snowblower, so we're gonna try to use it as sort of a guide. Mm -hmm. From here, we're gonna put our mower hopefully right here. Yep. And then in the seasons, like you don't need a snowblower in the summer. Right. So we're just gonna swap them around as sort of like what's the main thing in the front. And then we have all these two by fours, so hopefully we can build some shelving right here and it'll just be right above the snowblower area and then a, a, a sort of mini attic up there yeah. for our amazing Maybe. stout tent because yeah. we have to put that thing somewhere. We don't have room in the house. Yeah. We don't want it just laying around yeah, on the concrete in the basement. Yeah, we want to protect it and like kind of have it up a little bit higher. All right, so that is it for this video. We want to keep our videos short and sweet, so you're going to have to catch us next week to see what we have planned for this shed. As always, follow us on Instagram to see 